welcome to Bora Motors. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a steering damper on your Cabo scooter. The steering damper is a very handy tool which can be used to reduce the impact applied to your scooter and also give you more stability while riding. This steering damper kit comes with a fin shaped clamp, a small half circle clamp, two large half circle clamps, one M8 by 40 millimeter screw, one M8 by 30 millimeter screw, four M5 by 14 millimeter screws, two 8mm lock nuts, four 5mm lock nuts, and a slanted washer. Other than that, all you'll be needing are 4mm and 6mm Allen keys and a wrench. We tried a few ways of going about this, but we realized that the best way to do it was to assemble the steering damper first before installing it onto the scooter. Start by screwing this piece towards the end of the black rod so you can easily access it while working on it. We'll move it up later, so don't worry about tightening it too much. In order to attach the center clamp, run the M8 by 40 mm screw through the clamp and insert the slanted washer with its wider end facing away from the clamp. Now, just attach that to your steering damper by running it through this piece and securing it with the lock nut. As for the fin-shaped clamp, you want to have it in this direction, with the curve facing outward, as the opposite will limit your movements later on. Use the M8 by 30mm screw and lock it in following the same steps as before. Your steering damper should now be looking like this. Make sure both clamps are installed on the same side of the damper. When installing the steering damper on your scooter, it's important to make sure that you give it enough range for when you're going left and right and turning your stem. In order to do that, you'll need to measure the damper and make sure that it matches the mounting points when the stem is straight and when the stem is turned. We'll be attaching the larger clamp to the very top of the rotary head and the fin-shaped clamp to the dual suspension tubes. Let's start off with the center clamp, as its position is fixed. Bring it to the very top of the rotary head, making sure the cutout on the inside of the clamp is facing down and aligned with this structure on the back of your stem. You can now attach the center piece using your M5 by 14 mm screws. By the way, these can be screwed in from any direction, so go ahead and do whatever is easiest for you. In order to attach your fin-shaped clamp, bring the edge of the steering damper towards the dual suspension tube on the side you wish to attach it on. Make sure it won't be coming in contact with any of the other pieces on your stem when you turn left or right. As far as its final placement, it should end up sitting slightly above the level of the center clamp. To secure it, screw it on using the remaining screws and lock nuts. Now that your steering damper is secured to your scooter, slide this detachable piece under the regulating knob. This will give you more range of movement. And there you go. Now you have the steering damper installed. Just make sure you still have full movement when turning your stem and you should be ready for some smooth riding. And by the way, if you wanted to adjust the resistance on your steering damper, all you have to do is turn it clockwise for increased resistance and counterclockwise for less resistance. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to check out our other YouTube videos for other tips and instructions on how to take care of your scooter.